I got a condensation pump for the dehumidifier in the garage. It's very damp in the garage. Neither of the doors, the car door or the man door, make a good seal. And so on days like today where it's 70-80%, I'll be emptying the bucket every two or three hours. And, you know, I go to work, I go to sleep, and things that's not running for four or five hours, and then it gets all musty in here. So, that's not working. So, let's do this instead. This should work. Um, let's see here. Let's see if we got any changlish in the uh, in instruction manual. Get some Spanish. This is for the high water switch, but I don't, there's no application for that in this case because. Uh, we're not running it off of a thermostat or anything. Okay. Looks pretty straightforward. Nothing much in there to mention. So it came with uh, this much hose. I think this is supposed to be 25 feet maybe. And this is going to ultimately determine where I put the unit. The outlet situation in this garage is not fantastic. Um, I have one outlet up here on the ceiling, which is okay because you can ride a power bar down there, that's fine. But then the other outlet is over there, and the appliance cords are not even long enough to plug in. So I think what I'll do is I'll put the dehumidifier over here, maybe, and then I can take the, the hose and I'll put it in here with the downspout. And, or the other option is uh, I could put it over here and I could duct it out this window because the window is broke. But I'd rather seal that up than stick hoses through it. So I think we'll go with over here. So let's see what kind of distance we've got to the, to the hose. Oh, actually it seems like it's going to be kind of long. Try to make this as inconspicuous as possible. And the door is all busted up. It doesn't go down to the floor on the left side here, so we'll just run it under the door for now. Eventually I'll have to drill a hole through the wall and do it correctly once I fix the door. Okay, so we've got a lot of hose left to work with, much more than I thought we would. Let's see, can we get 
get it over to there? Yeah, you can. So I think I'll put it over here. Fires drain into the pump. I have a short hose that we can use. It's for the hose reel, so it's not ideal, but it'll work for now. Let me get some water spill out of here. Hose to work with. Kind of surprise. Put a couple of loops around just to keep the pipe out of the way. Getting that off and off. Yeah, we'll just do it like this, it's fine.
should be good like that. Yeah. Okay, that's not the most sightly thing out there, but it'll work for now. And this hose, I think we just stick it in the corner. That is, um, I gotta get a shorter hose for this, this is too long. But. It's uh, sticks up too high. Hmm. Because the, the drain output of the dehumidifier is is uh, almost at the same height as this as the hose here. So we need a real. We have to get a real short hose. I'm not sure this may not drain out with the machine. Put it to one way, I didn't see that coming. Well, it may work if we just kind of keep it like that. Okay, well, we'll go with it for now, but I had to do something else for sure. It's too long. I have a shorter one somewhere right there. something better with the, with the outlet here. This is not great. In fact, that kind of stinks, but that's what it is for now.
Oh jeez, all that wasn't even a frame. plugged up. I think it'll just barely work. But I definitely got to do something different for the holes. I guess you got a real short one, like maybe probably six inches or so. In fact, what if I have, even if I had just a fragment of one, I could just cut it and stick it in there. Hmm. Well, let's see what happens. I have to wait a little while for the for the hose to fill up, and then we'll see. I think it should be okay. The problem is this guy. This hose got all kinks in it too. I wonder if I should just cut that hose. I could put a new end on it and and fix it pretty easily. Hmm. Yeah, I think that's what I'm gonna do. I think what I'm gonna do here is I'll just cut this and then uh, I'll put a new end on it and then I'll use it again. Put half here and half somewhere else. I want to cut this like so it actually right before where the kink is. get the ends for this at the hardware store so I just get a new new end and I can use this for something else or I can use it for the hose reel again or whatever. Alright that should be good. Some residual water here in the bucket I'll go dump this out and then we'll check the pump. Alright let's see how this works. I wish it came with two of these caps because I'm only using one, one hole. I don't want stuff getting in here. Well, it's 
just let that sit there for a minute and see see what happens. Oh, that's a problem. This is all leaking. Why is this leaking? Looks like it's leaking out that connection. I just realized this won't be an issue even when the door is replaced because it's in front of the door. Alright, so this, I think I just have to put some, uh, some glue on this deck connection there to stop the leak. So it should trigger again any soon. I have the hose on again. Okay, just activated. It's going down here. Let's take a look at where it'll come out. Perfect. Okay. That is working correctly aside from that one leak in the pipe, which I'll get that fixed. And then we'll be good to go. It'll be much better than dumping it every couple of hours.